Today I want to talk about resilience. What is resilience? Resilience is the capacity to withstand or recover quickly from difficulties. It's toughness. Resilience is an object. It's actually the ability to spring back into shape. You squeeze, 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 and then the thing spring back into shape, right? For human, uh, it's the capacity to withstand and recover quickly from difficulties. It means uh, when you go through tough times, right, you hang on and you push through. I have to admit, last night I was working until 1 o'clock. I have to sleep. You know why? If I don't sleep, today, gone. And this morning I woke up a bit uh, burnt out, you know, of work. It's just too much work. Now, it means you go through tough times and you hang on and approach it. Today, I woke up, yes, tired, yes, a bit over, overworked, yes, I still wash up, dress up and show up. It means when you go through tough times, right, you hang on. Humans are animals are the same when it comes to tough times. When a dog sees danger, what do they do? They don't, they don't fight one, ah. they run. So we are, by nature, we either fight or we, are, or we flight, correct? We stand there, we fight or we chabut, lah. we leave everything behind. A person with resilience will stay and fight the cause. Giving up is too easy. Ah. Now, in show of hand, how many of you in life, or when you go through tough times, you just give up? How many of you have that experience that you gave up? <laughs> the, world's, the world is a better place today because great men stand up and fight the tyrants, correct? World War I, the whole Europe was fighting Germany. World War II, Europe, Winston Churchill, Roosevelt, all the great people during the World War II fight who? Fight Hitler and fight Japan, right? The Chinese, PRC, the <coughs> Republic of China, nearly fought a hundred years against the West for independence, right? And after that, they fight Japan uh, for independence. People, our forefathers fought their life uh, for independence in Malaysia. China, India, Malaya, Sama Sama, we fight, right? For the independence, for a better Malaysia. Without them, uh, we wouldn't have what we have today. However, ordinary people like us, sometimes we give up on our fight. We just give up. You don't fight. Things come, you give up easily. Uh, when the pulling is hard, some of us didn't stay and, and, and keep pushing. And then you f the whole day. Ah. When cases doesn't go through, they stop seeing the next client. Wow, oh, this one cannot go through. Wow, oh, I cannot collect payment. Wow, oh, then they stop seeing client and, and you know, sleep at home. When production are low, they stop working and they lie down, tang ping at home. You shit reasons. Ah. The worst kind of behavior is what? When things go wrong, you don't only tang ping, ah. you don't only go home and lie down and, and do nothing. You actually blame others for your failure. That's the worst. You're trying to find a reason why I didn't do well. Come on. Every success belongs to who? If you work hard, it's you, right? But every failure, it is also yours to reflect. At Gratitude, as a leader, I have these thoughts. When we started the agency, when we really started the agency, all glories goes to the team. All failures is me. I will reflect and do it better. Now, it is human nature. We are just human. It is not our fault or whatever. It's just human nature lah, you know, that we run away and we don't have resilience. However, animals and humans has one distinctive difference. Animals cannot choose their fate in life. But humans can choose our own destination and our own destiny by having intentionality, by having the motive to move forward to that goal, right? That's why we are humans, we are not animals. All of us are here. You join gratitude because you want what? They want money, you want time, right? But behind money and time uh, is an opportunity to become better. You cannot make more money and time uh, if you stay the same. You can only make money and time when you become better. By being better means what? Being resilient. Having the ability to fight through. You don't quit. You just change your method to make things happen. You just change your way of doing things to make it better. You learn. At pulling, at the road show, if it's very hard, you find another guy who can do better, right? If you need direction, what do you do? Come and see me. I'm more than willing to give you direction and teach you and share with you my experience. You just need to keep pushing until your ideal lifestyle is achieved. I have not achieved my ideal lifestyle, but it's work in progress. I tell you what, lah, by the time you die, you still won't achieve your ideal lifestyle. And because why? By the time you achieve A, you have B already. So, it is improvement that brings you. But when you look back, right, have you become a better person? That's all it takes. Your job 
resilience, right, is to push through and become a better person. Now, read books and reflect yourself every day. Reading books nurtures your brain. Reflection helps you to overcome mistakes and become better. Your job every day, right, is to be resilient and become a better version of yourself. Our business wants you to be a better person. Because when you become a better person, you serve well, you serve better. When you become a better person, you contribute more. When you become a better person, you have more money and more time. When you become a better person, it is better for your family. You treat your family better. So I encourage all of you, be resilient and become better every day.